Okay, so early this week I dropped a video on using React Router v7, an authenticated example. React Router v7 is doing what I'm calling, it's integrating Remix with React Router, and then you sit the whole thing on top of Vite, and then you have your full stack. Uh, one of the things I didn't complain about, but what I noticed was I was having problems getting my types to work. So my expectation was that when I get my action data back, hover over it, I can see the types of the data that's getting returned. This is my action, and if I get an error, it returns this error message. But in my first implementation, I was not getting this type back. And I thought maybe it's just not there yet. But I wanna thank this dude who I've never met before. First of all, thanks for watching my video. I'll give him a shout out here, James Restall. He was polite enough to not only just leave a comment about it, but to actually submit a pull request. I have already merged them there in the project. So we'll go to the first one, which was to fix the type safety. Um, I was kind of doing things the, the old Remix way with this kind of JSON, because you had this with Remix. Sorry, you wrap your object to get the type back. I guess you do that no more. So that's how I got my types back. So that solves the types problem. And the other thing that he did was he kind of helped me out with my redirects. I was having some issues with my redirects on login. So if we go back and we try to take a quick look at that PR, my redirect throw and we look at the files changed. Once again, you can see all the changes directly in the repo, the source code's available. If this guy, if this create user session is successful, what you get in this response is the redirect. The way my code was working, I had this try catch block and throwing up my response here to redirect would end up getting caught right here and it would just return this unknown error instead of throwing the response to redirect. Kind of hard to see there, but I will show you here. And I've actually changed the names of things to make it clearer. So now I've named this redirect response. And you can see here, when I create my user session, if there's no redirect response, I mean, I got an error, then I'll throw the error and it'll catch the error and it'll return as unknown error. But otherwise, it'll drop through all this and it'll come down and it will return the redirect response and I'll redirect the appropriate page. Added some comments here, also to make it clearer, but just wanted to drop this short video to say that I've solved two of the problems that I was discussing. Please be sure to check out the video to see the app. Thanks again to James for pointing out these issues and fixing them for me. So now when I move on to the part two of this video, at least I'm on a good foundation. Oh, and the other final thing that he did let me know was that they have released a newer version of React Router. So I've updated that also. Please check out the longer video if you haven't already, and um, I'll see you later. Bye.